Get full episodes of The Damage Report as a podcast on iTunes and Android, and you can watch the live show every weekday on YouTube TV. So what the hell is going on at the Pentagon? A recent report in the nation, amazing accounting fraud going on. Literally billions, trillions of dollars, seemingly unaccounted for, perhaps unaccountable. Let's try to make some sense of it. We've got a Dave Lindorf joining us, both investigative reporter, longtime contributor to the nation who wrote up that report. Dave, welcome to the show. Dave, thank you again for joining us on The Damage Report. Very excited to have you here. Thanks for having me. Thank you. So, uh, look, your, your report was amazing, very widely spread. Uh, you're, you're talking basically about the, the Pentagon undergoing an audit, and it looks like it went about as poorly as it could have. Is that is that a valid interpretation? It was a total failure. The only thing, <clears throat> excuse me, the only thing that they accounted properly was the uh, retirement fund. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, what are the, the what are the numbers that we're talking about here? Well, I mean, first of all, there was a study by a professor at Michigan State University, Mark Skidmore, who specializes in public account, public agency accounting. And he went through all the reports that were done on parts, parts of the Pentagon budget over the course of 1998 to 1915 and to 2015. And he found $21 trillion in entries on the liability and asset side of the Pentagon's financial documents that could not be accounted for, couldn't be you know, backed up by any kind of ledgers. And they basically make render the budgets completely useless for any purpose at all. Yeah, and it's certainly consequential when it comes to deciding how much Congress should should give the military, which we'll return to. Um, but that that twenty one trillion dollar number, obviously, that's 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 a big draw to attention. I mean, that that's more than the military was budgeted over that time. Now, now we don't think, and correct me if I'm wrong, we don't think that they've actually lost twenty one trillion dollars, but potentially a, a significant portion of that could actually be money that you know went. You know, into the dark. Maybe, maybe somebody has it. Maybe it was spent on something. I mean, the numbers are still significant, even if not twenty-one trillion dollars. Well, as Professor Skidmore points out, you can't really know anything about it because the Pentagon won't tell us anything about it. Uh, the it, it, what I've been told from my sources for the article, uh, which included people who have worked for years in the Pentagon, uh, people who've retired and are speaking on the record, uh, like Jack Armstrong, who was supervising the audits by the uh, Pentagon's Office of Inspector General for five years, uh, ending in 2011. Uh, Chuck Spinney, who is a celebrated whistleblower who worked in the Pentagon and did his reports with his name attached uh, back in the 80s, exposing epic scandals and fraud. Uh, all these people have told me that it appears that uh, what the Pentagon's doing is making up the numbers and trying to paralyze Congress and the media so that they uh, can't really figure out what's happening at the Pentagon. And it works for the Pentagon. They they basically give Congress uh, the financial reports for the current year and the prior year. And then they ask for more money. Uh, and, the, and the Congress looks at these uh, prior year spending, which looks like they spent all the money they got and then some, uh, when in fact they probably didn't. Yeah. And then what happens is they, they can take, they get more money because that's the way Congress works. You ask for what you had last year plus some, and uh, and then the uh, the military can take that extra money that they really didn't spend from the prior year, and it goes into uh, hidden accounts, gets uh, what they call nippered away into uh, other parts of the budget. They turn one-year money into five-year money, don't return it to Congress as they're supposed to, and then uh, nobody knows what they do with it, and they can do anything they want with it if nobody's looking. I, you know, I'm glad that you mentioned the the nippering because the, these terms, plugs and nippering, <coughs> like it would be easy for some people to look at this and think, oh, they're incompetent. You know, they lose records, they don't keep track of things very carefully. But they actually have this sort of terminology built up around a systematized way that every year we can expect that huge chunks of money are being hidden from the eye of the public, the eye of Congress. So th this doesn't seem like it's just incompetence. It seems like this is uh, this is by design. 
Yeah, look, uh, I, it, it's been going on for over two decades. It's that's a generation, uh, and no one's ever called them out on it. The uh, the numbers have never been reported in the mainstream press. Uh, Skidmore's report about twenty one trillion dollars. You never read about it. First time it made it into the uh, the mainstream media was when uh, Representative Elect uh, Ocasio Cortez tweeted out about twenty one trillion dollars in in hidden money that could have covered half the cost of 10 years of Medicare for all. What she got wrong was that she said it is missing money. We say <clears throat> we don't know what it is. It might be real money. Some of it might be real money. It might be, and I think more likely, it's fake numbers to inflate the uh, amount that they say they're spending to Congress. Um, but whatever it is, she, she managed to get that 21 trillion figure in the Washington Post, which never reported it before, and and their yeah. fact checker said it's correct. That Skidmore is correct, and our article is correct. So thank you for getting it in the mainstream. Yeah, I mean that 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 is one of uh, AOC's skills right now, and is getting people to focus on this stuff. I, you know, I would love for her to go in and uh, sort of lead a new, more vigorous audit of the Pentagon. I, I know that she's really busy with Green New Deal and all that stuff, but. Um, I want to talk about sort of the stakes, why, why this is important, because you talk about a couple of different things in your article that I find really important. Um, the amount that we spend on defense is what we would spend if hypothetically a world war was going on. But That's right. as you point out, the only the biggest war we're involved in has about 3% the level of troops in Afghanistan right now that we had in Vietnam, but we're spending far more. Um, to what extent do you think that these fishy accounting practices can help to explain why defense spending never actually, you know, we never got that peace dividend after the Cold War was over, it never actually went down drastically? No, and I think that these fake numbers, I write in the article that I think that these fake numbers are a major contributor because what they do is they um, allow the Pentagon to come in and say, as I said, uh, you know, we spend all this money when they maybe really didn't spend all the money. And it's it's a, like an escalator every year that uh, Congress has the, uh, you can either call it the, the uh, justification or the rationale or the excuse to give the Pentagon more money the next year. And, uh, and remember that $350 billion a year goes to the arms uh, industry that, uh, which is more than half of the, uh, of the entire military budget, right? Yeah. Uh, so this is an enormous amount of money that's being shoveled out for things that we really don't need. We're never going to, you know, it, unless we have World War III, which you know nobody wants, we're not going to ever see all those thousands of uh, 150 million dollar jets, the F-35 uh, flying turkey that Lockheed Martin is making, mm -hmm. and yet, uh, you know. That enormous expense includes contractor support funding that even the Air Force says they can't track how it's being used by uh, Lockheed Martin. Yeah. The, the accounting is so uh, completely off the wall at the Pentagon that I don't, I'm not even sure that the leadership in the Pentagon knows where the money that they're supposed to be managing is going. Uh, I mean, just look at Rumsfeld in 2001. He's the only Secretary of Defense who's called out this uh, accounting fiasco uh, when he, on September 10th, said he had discovered $2.3 trillion in uh, financial uh, financial transactions that they couldn't explain or back up. And he called it a life and death matter to find out what it was yeah. and said, uh, it, the enemy isn't China or Russia, it's the Pentagon bureaucracy. That, of course, big story that night uh, on the networks, a big story in the newspapers in the morning. And then you know, the buildings went down and so did that story. And it hasn't been picked up by any defense secretary since. Well, hopefully now as a result of your reporting and some politicians are beginning to talk about it, uh, it might. So Dave Lindorf, thank you again for your work. Uh, great reporting there in the nation and thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me on. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.